I did the last, like I mentioned to you before in a previous interview, I did the last television interview with Professor Stephen Hawking. And it was a fascinating insight into that remarkable brain that he had. But one question really stuck with me, and one answered it. I said to him, what is, in your estimation, the biggest threat to mankind? And he said, when artificial intelligence learns to self-design. Just consider that right now, AI is basically everywhere. There's no tech company that isn't fully exploiting the value of AI to their business model. In my field, which is not even a corporate entity, it's just science, in my field, astrophysics, we've been using AI at any possible point that it could advance us, we use it, and we've been using it for decades. Why aren't you terrified of it? Because you're very positive about AI. I, I, let me, okay, there are people who will read you the riot act about the future of AI, and many of them are deep in the field. So I'm not here to undo their concerns. All I would tell you is, AI in its sort of restricted form, where I have a task, I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. Let a machine do it, and let's teach it, and have it, uh, a machine learn what it is I need it to do, and have it do it. That's kind of how AI has manifested in society. Why do you not fear that AI can become genuinely sentient and start making decisions completely on its own. Yeah, it depends. On, you can make a decision, but how much power are you going to grant it? All right. If, but if, we, we, you, I mean, look, I don't want to put words in your mouth here, and I certainly don't compare my brain to yours. However, my, however. Sim <laughs> my simple mind, okay, cool. my simple mind says to me that, as with the internet, as with all great new innovations, but particularly with AI, given its enormous power, I can absolutely see all the positives especially in science, in medicine, all these things. And there's an existential risk on the other side of that. How are you not as scared as I'm about that? Yeah, so I think any technological advance has always had a dark side in the hands of nefarious actors. So I don't, yes, AI poses an existential risk. So too did nuclear weapons, mm -hmm. right? So, so too do weapons in general, mm -hmm. all right? And so... Uh, I was on a on a on a um, on a, a board that served the Pentagon, uh, a, a, a defense innovation board. It was, and we confronted this issue with AI in the military, and we arrived at a, the conclusion that if a kill decision has to be made, a human being needs to be in that loop. You cannot have AI mm. make that decision without a human being participating in it. Recognizing that AI is inevitable in the in the in that world, and so but you want to put in some constraints. And yes, w this is not the rogue actor, right? These are rational people making these decisions.